Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to create uh, some queues that will manage bandwidth for your multiple users. In the previous tutorial, I had created a, a single queue that managed bandwidth for all users. Now, I'm going to have multiple queues uh, that will allocate specific bandwidth to each user and then manage the bandwidth based on the total available um, bandwidth. Uh, so the main queue, which is a parent queue, will have 512 kilobits per second upload and 6 megabits download. And each child queue will have, or uh, you could consider users, would have a 256k um, upload and 2 megabits per second download. And I'll be creating six users. So let us head over to Winbox and uh, configure this. All right, so in Winbox, um, go over to queues and I'm going to create the, the first queue. And before you're creating the queues, ensure that you know your, your network in terms of your subnet. And my subnet is 192.168.88.0 slash 24. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the first queue based on that because this queue will work for um, all the users that falls under, under this queue. So I'm going to call this one all ban bandwidth and the target would be my subnet. And the limit would be 512 kilobits and the download limit would be 6 megabits so 6 capital M and for in advance I'm going to set the queue type to be PC PCQ upload default for the upload and PCQ download default for the download click OK and now I'm going to create the child queues are the queues for each user so i'll call this one um user one and uh, the queues now would be based on the ip address of the users so i'm going over back to leases and i'm going to create the queues based on these ip address it is good if these ip addresses are static so just in case the address change your queues will not um be affected by by those changes because the address will be static uh so first one is 192.168.88.251 and the up the upload limit would be 256 and the download would be two so there are some predefined bandwidth that is here you can use them uh, if not, you can type in whatever you want. Head over to advance and change the default upload the queue type to PCQ upload default and for the download PCQ download default and then we're going to change the parent to be for so the parent for this queue is all bandwidth and then OK and we are going to create a next one so I'm going to use a shortcut to create the others just open a queue copy and then call this user2 and I'm going to put in the IP address for user2 which is which is this which is this address 99 and because all the queues are of the same bandwidth so I don't need to change anything else so apply so I can just copy user 398 can just copy this one user 4 100 copy again user 5 250 and make a copy user 6 the 254 
Okay. Alright. So I've created six queues um, for six users. And uh, one way to organize the queues in an hierarchical manner is to just sort, sort the queues by name. So by clicking on this, the queues are now sorted in hierarchical manner. So you can know which queue is the, which queue is the parent queue. And all these now will be showing underneath in um, the all bandwidth queue, which, which, is, which are the child queues. Alright, so I'm going to do a test now uh, on these queues and let us see how it limits the, the bandwidth used by each client. So I'm going to go over to my computers and I'm going to start a download on each. So I'm going to start download. Alright, so let us head over to Winbox. Alright, so I've started download and, um, downloading a file for all, for the first five users. And for the six users, which is the PC that I'm using currently, is um, this computer is not downloading any, any traffic. But if you look at the queues, if you look at the queues, the bandwidth utilization for each queues are almost the same because the traffic is um, is divided um, for across all the users. So it will not pass the 6 megabits. So currently the download speed is limited at 6 megabits. So it will not pass that. Or if it passes it, it's just for uh, maybe a, a few seconds. Um, if I... If I start a uh, download on on my on my PC here, I'm going to download a file. Um, save. All right, now you should see some activities on my queue, which is user six. And now you're seeing where some download is taking place. And if you want a particular user to get, um, is to, to be guaranteed the full bandwidth, you can also change the, the priority on the user to say a higher priority. So priority eight, priority eight, is the lowest priority and priority one is the highest. So if I give this user priority one, now this user would be able to consume the full two megabits um, download. Even all the other users um, of the same limit, this user will, will be able to consume the full two megabits. And if I set it back to eight, like the others now the the bandwidth utilization would be divided across among the the, the six users here you see the bandwidth is almost equal across all users and yet still the total bandwidth utilization doesn't pass or 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 maximum which is six megabits it is not passed in passing that it temporarily might jump but i'm saying it will happen for like a few seconds if you want to change the bandwidth used by a particular user i could just double click on a user and say give this user three megabits and then this user now will be able to um, get more bandwidth than the others but it, all of this is based on priority so if the priority is um is set the same then the bandwidth would be equal for all users so that is how you go about um, configuring queues for multiple users this is just another uh, example 
of doing that so i'll continue um doing some more tutorial just like this in terms of managing bandwidth so if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching